Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On April 11th, Tsinghua University received good news. Professor Fang Lu, an academician, Dai Haichung's research group jointly developed the Taiji Photonic Chip which marked a major leap forward in China's chip technology. This breakthrough was widely reported by many domestic media, and netizens also highly praised the Tsinghua research team, believing that this reflects the necessity and importance of the country's strong support for scientific research and technological investment. The successful development of the Taiji Photonic Chip not only strengthened China's shortcomings in chip technology, but also had a wide impact on the development of global semiconductor technology. The research team of Tsinghua University created a brand new solar photonic chip which is the world's first chip using large-scale interference diffraction heterogeneous integration technology, and its significance is extraordinary. The name of the Taiji photonic chip comes from the Yihas Taiji, which is the birth of Tu Yin and Yang in the Book of Changes. It provides huge computing power in the fields of AI big data processing and complex algorithm calculations. Compared with traditional chips, the biggest advantage of the Taiji chip is that its computing speed has increased by nearly 1,000 times, breaking away from the traditional electronic deep computing method. It adopts a new distributed breadth optical computing architecture, combining the advantages of diffraction and interference optical computing, greatly improving computing efficiency. This means that the advent of Taiji photonic chips is a major breakthrough in traditional chip technology. This technological achievement has also been published in the journal Science on April 12th. At present, this technology has been widely recognized by the international scientific community and has become a powerful tool to support the development of AI technology, leading a new hotspot in the international science and technology frontier. Unlike traditional electronic chips, Taiji photonic chips are based on optical transmission of information, showing its advantages of high speed and low energy consumption. This innovative high-end process technology has effectively broken through the technical bottleneck in China's electronic chip field and opened up a new research and development path. What is the reason for exploring new chip research and development paths? After understanding the advantages and impact of solar photonic chips, China has to think about this issue. Combined with the current situation of China's semiconductor industry, the United States has significantly strengthened its suppression of China during the Sino-US trade war, especially in the semiconductor field. Especially with the foreign supply chain of high-end chip equipment being cut off, and the blockade and export control policy of China by the United States, Europe, Japan and other countries, China's chip technology research and development was forced into a difficult period, but the country, enterprises and scientific researchers never gave up, 
and finally achieved a certain position in the field of mature chip process. Although there is still a gap with the international level in the field of high-end electronic chips, China has not given up its research and development and has made significant progress on this basis. In November 2023, two research groups of Tsinghua University began to use optical fusion technology to simulate the research and development of optoelectronic computer chips and took a hopeful step five months later. This broke the Western sanctions and blockade on China's high-end chip research and development equipment. The research and development of photonic chips will not only reduce China's dependence on overseas chips, but also accelerate the process of chip localization. On the road of independent research and development, the United States has long implemented a hegemonic policy, and its international image has gradually declined in the international changes over the past half century. Since the beginning of the Sino-US trade war, the blockade and suppression of the United States in politics economy, and the semiconductor field have shown unfair treatment of China. A good man is bullied, and a good horse is ridden. In international relations, weak countries often have no say. Although these actions violate international conventions morally, International relations are essentially about interests. Therefore, China realizes that only by becoming strong can it gain a foothold in the international community, and scientific and technological development is a core component of national strength. Semiconductor chip technology is the key to promoting modernization, which is also the fundamental reason why Western countries are trying their best to prevent China from developing high-end technology. They are worried that China will take the lead in this field. Summary This achievement of Tsinghua University is inseparable from the support of the country and the unremitting efforts of scientific researchers. China is proud to have such elites. While celebrating the achievements, China also needs to understand the shortcomings in the field of semiconductor research and development and strengthen cooperation with friendly countries in the world firmly believing that only mutual benefit and win-win can lead to success.